My name is Corinna Handrich and I'm responsible for the whole media work uh -huh. and for some special events like concerts or sign sessions with astronauts. And this is called the Technische Museum Speyer. Uh, Speyer is the name of the town that we're in and this is one of two museums in the near. That's yeah. right. We have the Auto and Technik Museum in Sinsheim. Uh -huh. It's about half an hour away from here. And we have the Technik Museum in Speyer. And both are one um, Verein. Yeah? A, a, a team? Uh, no, no. What's it? A, a society. A society, yeah. yeah. It's one society with uh, two cities and uh -huh. two museums. But we are one. Uh -huh. And uh, in Speyer we have um, the biggest um, Space exhibition in Europe. In Europe? Yes. The whole of Europe. The whole Europe. So. And in Sinsan we have a big military uh -huh. exhibition and many other stuff like cars and planes and uh, helicopters. We have a um, submarine here and all technical stuff. Um, this museum here is built in 1991 and in Sinsan uh, it opened at 1981. Uh, I have had a, a quick look this, this morning and I've just been amazed by the number of things you have here and I've just been focusing on my interest which is the space exhibition and what's amazing is all of the exhibitions, the aircraft, the Boeing 747 and even the U-boat, you can go inside yeah. and is that part of the design in the museum that people yeah. should get inside and touch things it's part of our philo philosophy uh -huh. um, it's like a big playground for <laughs> adults and for kids and you don't want not you not want to only look at them because uh -huh. when you can only look at them it's nice but you have models at home you can look at two or you can watch them in tv and here you can touch them you can go inside you have you can look behind the scenes, maybe in the submarine, go inside and you can see how tiny it is inside. The key, the central exhibition, exhibit that you have here, is what's behind you right now, yeah. is the Buran. Yeah. How long has that been here in the museum? Since uh, 2008. Right. And of course, uh, uh, this is a Russian space shuttle equivalent, and I understand that there were two of these flight-worthy models, one did actually go into yeah. Earth orbit, yeah. but this is the replica that didn't, but it's the flying yeah. vehicle. Um, it flew, uh, it was a training model mm -hmm. to, to train flights without um, pilot, yeah. but not in space, in the regular uh, Earth orbit. And uh, this particular model made several in Earth atmosphere flights, uh, so it was actually, it's actually a working yeah. Uh, spacecraft, yeah. although it never did go into space. Also in front of you here is uh, uh, another small. exhibit mm -hmm. that's actually been in space. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the exhibit from uh, Soyuz, yeah. uh, TM-19. Yeah. What's the connection between that and Germany? Um, a German astronaut was inside, Ulf Merbold. Uh -huh. And this uh, Soyuz uh, model, uh -huh. um, Ulf Merbold came back mm -hmm. to the Earth. And uh, some, some years ago we got it ex, um, as exhibit uh -huh. and Ulf Merbold came here to the museum to present <laughs> us his uh, yeah. Soyuz capsule. Excellent. And he's one of now several um, German astronauts, but he was the very first one as part of ESA to yeah. go into space. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned um, Ulf um, Merbold. Yeah. What's he doing now? He, he was here in 2010, I think you said. Yeah. What's he, is he still around working in the, in the field, you know? Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. He's still working around this field. I think when, when you did this a long time ago, yeah. you can't go away well, from this. From this. Yeah, especially when your experience is yeah. so unique yeah, yeah, these yeah. days. It's like uh, Ernst Messerschmidt, he's also a German astronaut. He's uh -huh. often coming here with friends, uh -huh. with students. Right. And uh, he's a really nice and kind person and he tried to help us because space flies and is in Germany not so popular like in America. Really? Yeah. Ah. So in Germany um, soccer and Formula One is more popular like space and so we try to inform the people how interesting it is, yeah. space flights, uh, space shuttles. The Buran behind you is quite big. Um, and it's got here, and it didn't 
uh, fly in. Mm -hmm. So how did you bring it from, I take it from Russia, all the way down here? Uh, we, we took it in Bahrain mm -hmm. and uh, it was a long journey on the boat right. about the sea right. and uh, they went to Rotterdam in the right. ne Netherlands uh -huh. and then it um, was put up on another smaller ship uh -huh. and then they bring it um, over the river Rhine from right. Rotterdam right. directly to Speyer right. and in Speyer they um, bring it out with right. some cranes right. and then step by step they bring it here to the museum. So in order to get something which is this unique because it's the only Buran that exists now because the ori original one was destroyed in an accident yeah, I understand. Yeah. Um, you must have some really good relationships with the uh, Russian authorities for them to give you this yeah, because yeah. you have it so they don't. Yeah. Um, are those relationships uh, established over a long time? Do you hope to get some more items yeah, from there? We have a big uh, association with 2,000 members worldwide uh -huh. and they have all a network right. in, in different fields. Uh -huh. And uh, we have many people who are helping us um, and they helped us a lot with the Buran because it was a little bit tricky to get them because it, it stood in Bahrain mm -hmm. and he wanted it and someone else wanted it too. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the connection to Russia because a good friend of us is Igor Wolk. Uh -huh. He was a pilot on the Buran oh, and uh, he helped us, us a lot. And um, the Botschafter of Bahrain, the German Botschafter of Bahrain, uh, Dr. Hubert Lang, he also helped us yes. a lot. And right. It took some years, but finally we got it. Oh, excellent. Now, in addition to um, the Russian exhi exhibits, you also have quite a few uh, from America, yeah. NASA. We have a mock-up of the um, Eagle landing capsule mm -hmm. from the first moon landing. Yeah. We have some mock-ups of different space suits. Uh -huh. Uh, we have a Luna mobile, a Luna rover from the moon. That's a mock-up as well. It's also a mock-up, mm -hmm. yeah. but mm -hmm. we have an original moon dome. It's from, uh, it's an exhibit from the NASA. Yes. They lent us yeah. this, and it's a three comma four million um, or older. Three point one billion years old. Yes, yes, yes. from uh, from the moon. And this is an original. And, and I've seen it over there. It's huge. Yes. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, it's like like this size. Yes. I mean, I've seen many moon rocks before, but never that big. Yep. It's uh, well done on yeah. getting that. And so we have a lot of uh, original stuff like space food uh -huh. and clothes from from astronauts. Uh, yeah. They they were in in, in space yeah. mm -hmm. and um, patches. <laughs> pictures and yeah. tiny stuff and yeah we are still collecting right. and have many american astronauts visited here as well i can't tell you number. i must count on okay. our wall but, but, but quite but a few about more than 10. right it's, uh, it's, it's amazing we have three moonwalkers here right and some apollo astronauts yeah. and many others yeah yeah, yeah. And I noticed uh, it's not just Russian and American, but you have exhibits from around the world. Yeah. I noticed you have a MiG from the Indian Air Force yeah, yeah. as well. That's a very unusual <laughs> thing. How did you get that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many stuff right. here. I'm here yeah. since 12 years right. and the museum is since 1991. Uh -huh. And I have no idea what happened uh, before I came to the museum, right. but yeah. it's connected with our network. We have some friends especially for cars for for helicopters for planes mm -hmm. and when they see something somewhere mm -hmm. they call us oh i saw something interesting maybe you yeah. want it for your exhibition <laughs> see and, you also have a, a, a mock-up of the vostok one yeah, that yuri yeah, gagarin yeah. flew in and uh, that's not the real one that no. uh, looks new and yeah, complete yeah. Um, was that made especially for this museum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a special order for us. Right. And it was made in Russia? No, in Netherlands. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a unique uh, item yeah, because it's life-size. Yeah, yeah. We want to show everything. The Russia space yeah. program, the yeah. European space program, yeah. and the American space program. Everything is really interesting and, and different. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, a mock-up of the space station as well. Uh, you have uh, on the outside part of a segment of yeah. the Ariane launcher. Yeah, yeah. Um, which other original flown things that have been in space do you have here besides the solute? Five. It's a training, uh, you can see it 
Oh yes, there. yes. It's it's a draining um, shuttle. Shuttle, very small, mm -hmm. and this uh, was um, they tested to go in flight. Uh, in space. And it made several journeys into yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and this is an original. It yeah. was in space. Uh, uh, any plans for getting any... Are you working on any specific projects to get any particular exhibits here in the next year we or two? We wanted an US shuttle, but they don't give us any one. <laughs> <laughs> so they decided to let them in America. Right. So at the moment we don't have a special project uh -huh. Right. For, for space uh -huh. uh, exhibits, right. um, we have outside, we have two planes still uh -huh. on the parking area. We must bring them next year inside the museum. Oh, I see, right. <laughs> so uh -huh. these are the next projects. Uh -huh. Now, a lot of this costs a lot of money. Yeah. How is it funded? Do you, is it funded by the, the state? No, by nothing. It's completely funded private. We ah, don't see. get any money from the state. Right. Uh, we have our entrance fees. Uh -huh. And if you are a member from our association, you pay um, each year a right. special price. Right. And it's not so high. Right. And um, we have some people who like the museum and they mm. give us money. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're nearly at the end of uh, 2013. And, and incidentally, is the museum open over Christmas? Yeah, we have every day open. On Christmas and on New Year's Day, we have a shorter opening time, right. but you can come to us every day. It's amazing. And next year, you have uh, an, another German astronaut yeah. going to the IIS. Yeah. So do you have any special plans for that? Maybe a live link-up or something? Uh, we have ideas, uh -huh. and we hope soon we will we'll have some plans. But at the moment, uh, it's only ideas. Corinne Handlich. Vielen Dank. Thank you very much. You're Viel welcome. Spaß.